what's up YouTube? It's like four something in the morning, but uh, currently working on a video for you guys. Uh, for those with the ZTE Max that uh, they're still on 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, just because uh, if you upgrade a Kit Kat, it's like a whole huge, uh, just confusing way of rooting the phone and whatnot. So. Uh, this method's been out for a while, but there's been some issues with the ROM, so it's the reason why I've never actually told anyone about this method. But uh, the custom ROMs that are based off of stock KitKat are actually functional now, so I could actually put this video out for you guys. So if you're on Jelly Bean on 4.1.2 and you have a way to get to KitKat without losing root and, um, you know, having a, a fully functional ROM, and this custom ROM has a few features added in, like the, it supports exposed frameworks and it runs a OC kernel rather than the stock kernel. So uh, you should get some some smoothness out of it. You know, it's, you know a lot better function. But anyways, um, so if you're on 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, there's a couple of things you need to download. Link will be in the description of the video. Um, you will have to flash the system partition first and then the custom ROM because KitKat and Jellybean has like the file systems is completely different so if you just flash the ROM then yeah you're gonna have some issues so um, the file partition zip file flash that first then you'll flash the uh, stock custom ROM with root basically um, if you are on KitKat already and you were able to do that whole weird root method then uh, if you want to try out this custom ROM just to you know have it deodex de bloated then um, yeah just make a backup and flash as is but if you're on Jelly Bean you have to flash the file system partition there's also a zip file to flash that will fix the SD card issue with KitKat so you guys might want to flash that too after you flash the ROM uh, there's two different ROMs there's a de bloated and deodex and then there's the one that I'm going to be showing, which is Deodex, Debloated, and it has OC kernel and supports exposed frameworks. So, uh, yeah.